Hello, welcome to my channel, KSO channel. There's lots we love about Japanese culture, and whether you're visiting for the first time or you're already familiar with life in Japan, there's always plenty to discover about this fascinating country. Plan your next trip armed with a few fun facts to get you started. It's good manners to slurp your noodles. Japan values good manners highly, but when it comes to chowing down on bowlfuls of noodles, there's only one way to eat. Noisily. Slurping is a sign of enjoyment and also cools down the noodles as you eat. Get your chopsticks in one hand and lean over your bowl. Bibs are sometimes provided for foreigners, but by the time you leave, you should be able to polish off a bowl in a white top and walk out spotless. The traditional Christmas Eve meal is KFC. Plenty of Japanese celebrate Christmas, but the festive fare isn't what you might expect. In Japan, it's traditional to head to your local KFC on Christmas Eve. An estimated 3.6 million Japanese feast on the KFC Christmas dinner and hours of queuing and ordering weeks in advance is expected. Some say turkey and chicken wasn't widely available for the Christmas, curious Japanese, so Colonel Sanders stepped in to answer the demand. Japan is mostly mountains. Japan's big name stars are its densely populated cities, and it's not a country you think of as a scarcely populated mountain wilderness. However, around 70% of Japan is made up of forests and mountains that aren't suitable for farming or living in. There are over 100 active volcanoes, and its tallest mountain is the famed Mount Fuji, with its elevation of 3,776 feet. There's a rabbit island in Japan. Japan is made up of nearly 7,000 islands. The little island of Akunashima in the Inland Sea is best known for its curious big eared population. The island was used to test chemical weapons during World War II, and it said the test subjects roamed free after the war. Either way, the numbers flourished in a predator-free environment, dogs and cats are banned from entering, and today Akunashima is a popular spot for cuddle bunny tourists. The number 4 is extremely unlucky. The number 4, shy, is widely avoided in Japan, since it sounds too similar to the Japanese word for death. Keep an eye out in Japan, and you'll notice buildings don't have a fourth floor, items are sold in sets of three or five, and special care is taken to avoid encountering the number in daily life. There's a bizarre naked festival. Japan is well known for its non-stop festivals, but Hidaka Mitsuri must be one of the most bizarre. Thousands of Japanese men strip naked in public to secure a fortune-filled year, with the biggest Mitsuri taking place in Okayama, where an estimated 9,000 men get down to their fundashi. Japanese trains are some of the most punctual in the world. The average delay of Japanese trains is 18 seconds. What makes them so punctual? Drivers are trained in ultra-realistic simulators and drive one train line, only many don't even need a speedometer to know how fast they're going. Competition is also fierce between rail companies, so lagging behind won't do they work hard to keep hold of Japan's huge numbers of train commuters, whatever it takes, even if it means building fancy department stores in the stations. The Japanese love wacky flavors. Eel-flavored ice cream and green tea Kit Kats are just two of the weird and wonderful flavors you can come across in Japan. Kit Kats are the most popular confectionery. Kit Kat sounds similar to Kitokatsu, a Japanese saying meaning good luck. You can try edamame, wasabi and ginger ale flavored Kit Kats too. Everyone has their own seal. In Japan, people don't have signatures, they have their own seal. Known as Hanko, the seal is typically your name translated into kanji characters, and are made from silver plant-based paste. Adults will often have three Hankos, one for signing off letters and personal matters, a bank seal and an identify seal. They're not necessary for tourists, but foreigners living in Japan can have one handmade in small, local shops. Anti-ninja floors are a thing. During the feudal period, wealthy Japanese lords built homes with deliberately squeaky floors, known as nightingale floors, as a defense measure against ninjas. The highly trained, legendary mercenaries of feudal Japan were so steeped in myth and folklore, they were said to be capable of walking on water, turning invisible and controlling natural violence. That's got to be motivation, to put down some new foreign.
That's it for today's video. For more videos like this, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for supporting my channel.